Hello everyone, this is Mandy G. Today we're going to be discussing a topic um, dear to my heart, I would say, because I started watching the Arrowverse since like, what, 2014? I watched the first episode um, of the F Arrow in my last year of uh, high school and um i've been i i have watched the entirety of arrow even though the seasons fell off a couple times the topic i want to talk about today is whether cw air the cw arrowverse should end to bring in the era of the hbo max uh, because I was reading this article uh, that I had found uh, today and it brought this debate in my head um, on whether Flash, Supergirl's already ending, or just the errors in general should end. Um, although a couple of shows like a little sh a show like Superman and Lois is bringing people back to like the Arrowverse because of its um, I don't know I don't know how to describe it even I'm watching it it's very family impactful it reminds me a lot of Men on Steel it, it it's very you can see how how they use the budget that's probably how i would say um it's, uh, it's getting a little dark um but uh yeah let's read let's look at this article dc media is evolving lately yes they are still trying to make the dce work but more importantly they're trying to compete with disney disney's plus Marvel offerings by bringing potentially high quality, high profile DC TV shows to HBO Max. Among them, a GCPD series spun out of Matt Reeves' Bat The Batman and an upcoming Green Lantern series. They already have DC Universe shows like Doom Patrol, Titans, and Harley Quinn. That's um, a, a good reason. I'm, I'm excited for these TV shows. And it's also a good reason to see how DC is evolving. And if the Arrowverse doesn't like evolve their shows and keep us connected with the characters, they will fall off. Like they will, like DC will shut them down. <laughs> DC will cancel them. The Arrowverse doesn't fit neither in tone or quality quality or budget it's a gap that's only growing wider by the year the sh of course the show that started it all arrow is dead arrow found success as a dark gritty offering uh its first few seasons where oliver queen was on a quest for vengeance it lost its magic as time went on eventually after it ended past the baton to the flash Wow, that's no offense to whoever wrote this, but that's bad grammar. Wow, that's like that's bad grammar. <laughs> okay. The Flash is extremely poor these days and has been for a few years. Yes. Although I would say it's up this upcoming season has been getting better, but lately have been hating how every time there, there is like a new enemy the flash either loses his speed or it's against a speedster so he has to train up so he's not the fastest man alive like when are we ever gonna see him be the fastest man alive i've been liking the fact that barry has been more of a scientist than than anything and he's showing how he's been showing how smart it is in the show 
It feels like every episode takes place in the same three rooms with some rehash of the same three problem. Barry has lost his feet, a mental human is doing bad things, that the problem is faster than Barry. Exactly what I'm saying. The show's budget feels non-existent these days, also like of some bad, some sort of bad riff on the Doctor Who type camp without any of the charm. The Flash's vibe, its tone and dialogue and special effects have infected at least two other shows. Supergirl, which is mercifully ending after this final season, and Batwoman, which had to replace its lead for season two. Replacing her wasn't a problem. But creating a show full of characters that are impossible to care about is, yeah, uh, CW always had that problem on their shows. Um, Super, I liked it, but then it got too heavy. Like, I don't mind if a show is like political or like has like political theme themes, but like literally every single episode, every single season. There's, there has to be some sort of political agenda going on and it, it just it just got too heavy uh, Legends of Tomorrow has always been the fun run one of the group here yeah I agree with that if, but even that is waning and we things are going on with the cast where they keep the, the members keep leaving either it gets their will or because they get get good contracts yeah i've heard that um i also hate how they're replacing they're facing most of the original characters like actually most of the original characters are not on the show anymore <laughs> the only person on in the show that's still in the show that was on the, on the first episode is sarah lance and nate Hayward. And I feel like Sarah Lance is gonna, probably gonna leave this season just because she got like engaged and married. So I feel like she's gonna leave this season. Uh, and the one show that is pretty good in the Arrowverse right now is Superman and Lois. It's sort of emb emblematic of what I'm talking about here. That show has a way higher production budget than the these others better writing and a more grounded tone here is david robsey a former actor error actor on the difference between directing superman and lois and episodes of these other series you're floating between these three anamorphic lenses to get that expert ratio that's the technical stuff and it's just a different space it's a totally it's a different space pace I don't think it's, small, it's a small secret that a, it's a family show that has Superman in it. And you feel that. You feel that in the scope, in the way that it's shot. You feel that in the writing and obviously in the performances. And that's not taking away from the other shows. It's just a type of face and a different look. But it is taking away from the other shows. Seeing how much better these series could be if they were taking cues from Superman and Lois makes them feel even worse by comparison in their current iterations. Superman and Lois has more or less divorced itself from the Arrowverse entirely. Even though these characters were born there, it's only served to help it thrive. To me, this is the future of DC. It feels like all these Arrowverse should wind down. Supergirl and Black Lightning already are, and DC needs to move more into sinking more money and shifting the tone and writing for not necessarily more serious shows, but simply better ones. Hardy Quinn, for instance, is absurdist and hilarious, and it's probably the best show DC has. But the Arrowverse has been drowning in lighthearted melodrama ever since Arrow died, and probably a bit before that, and it's only gotten worse. This one year of the DC Universe has run its course. So, yeah. So yeah, this is what I was talking about here. Um, the tone of Supergirl, Superman, and Lois is more similar to the tones of the HBO Max shows 
that are on right now than to the CW uh, Arrowverse tone. The Arrowverse tone is more... It can get serious sometimes, but like it's more like fun and, like he said, melodramatic than anything. Um, they keep doing the same formula every season. Although, for The Flash, literally the only reason I'm watching it is because I love The Flash. I love it as a character. Plus, I also want to see Godspeed being, being played. Uh, it's, I also want to see uh, how good their impulse will be. Um, yeah, uh, this brings me to another point when I'm talking about The Flash. Um, here's another article on Screen Rant. That, that article before was on Forbes. I'll put a link on it below in the description below in screen wrap they have this article where they said they're, they're talking about how the flash is setting up a new um impulse and xs uh, potential spin-off series and if that's true that could revive the entire arrow universe arrowverse universe and i was when the when arrow first ended and there were rumors of the the uh the spin-off series for like the canaries i think it was uh, the green arrow and the canaries uh, which would have followed uh uh, Mia Queen as a Emerald Archer alongside Laurel Lance and Diana Blake Drake um, I was super excited for it because I wanted to see what happens in the future how Mia and the other kid I forgot his name uh, um, were doing and what her crisis was there in the future or if they would team up with other future er future heroes the that had like future heroes that are being born um that are, that are there in the future and this gets me excited because from what I'm, from what I'm hearing like from what I'm hearing um excess will appear on the episode, episode 17 and um impulse will appear as well and they'll be Bert Allen and, and Nora Allen will be Barry Barry and Al, Barry Allen and Iris West's uh only uh of the future child together. Um This will give, I hope this will give uh, the CW a chance at a second season because they need to, they need to like, they need to, um, what's the word I want to use? They need to better themselves. A TV show doesn't have to have more budget, but it has to be better. It has, it has to, it has to, it has to be more like the HBO Max's TV shows and Disney's TV shows because now because of like Disney and HBO Max. Even Netflix is doing high budget TV shows, not high budget TV shows, but like their TV shows are looking really good. And even Prime, I watched Invincible like a couple weeks ago and that was amazing. So they and CW needs to up their game. They need to up their game. Even uh, like I'm just watching I'm right now I'm watching 
Supergirl and I have uh, I have uh, been watching it since this came since it came out. I had to stop last season. I restart I restarted this season, and they've been super good with like the way I love I love the scenes of Kara being stuck. Spoilers for Supergirl this season if you had to watch it, but I like the scene. Of Kara being stuck in the Phantom Zone, her and her trying to survive, and I'll probably like it when they're probably gonna show her having like PTSD uh, from being in the Phantom Zone, and I like that they're doing that. They're showing like a different side to this to Supergirl. Um, I hate like Flash needs to like focus on something else and have maybe like half an hours focus on her journalistic career instead of helping the Flash team. But yeah, that's all I'm going to say on the matter. I don't want to start a debate in the comments about whether uh, Iris should, should continue being in the team in team Flash because she's not doing anything. Because, But yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Thank you all guys for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe um like and comment down below for more um videos on dc and and marvel and and anything else thank you for watching peace